We have to stop being insane in our approach to fixing the environment. My name is Bill. <laughs> and I fly private. <laughs> and so does every other person who calls themselves an environmentalist who can. If you're a favorite stars and... <laughs> politicians who speak about the need to reduce our carbon footprint, but who are always on private planes. That's right, all of them. If you don't see a celebrity's picture here, it's because we weren't allowed to use it. It's watching B. Mahad, sometimes he can make a lot of sense, especially pointing out the level of hypocrisy with these people. I recently watched this clip, I realized a lot of BMAD fans were disappointed simply because they wanted him to say he would no longer take private jet and they decided to unsubscribe. They hate the truth. The level of hypocrisy with these people is beyond levels. I don't even know how I can describe it. You cannot be attending environmental conference at the same time you are taking a private jet and you are telling other people not to do it you are a hypocrite but all the environmentalists of hollywood and washington do it their position on climate change is we must do more to stop pouring carbon into the air except for me when i want to go somewhere and then i take a private jet yes we have so many simultaneous battles in the cultural war that our political discourse is skewed in every direction but right productivity should be our main focus yet we allowed for public private partnerships to reign over and control the narrative beyond functionality Immediately after this clip, my amendment prohibits oil and gas leasing on federal lands in a way that would increase even further our net carbon emissions. Educate yourself on how America attained its low emissions. If you care about the air quality, you care about climate change. Natural gas is what got America there. Educate yourself on that. Go and learn. Go and learn for yourself about this. The chair would remind all members to address their comments during the various debates to the chair. While I cannot control the fact that the other side seems to have made the assumption that I am uneducated, uh, one of the things that I can say, or you know what, what they may say about my worldview, one of the things that I can say is that while I may not work for Wall Street, that is true, I may not be here with the mission to increase profits for corporations, that is true. My mission here is for the well-being and dignity of our family and our planet's future, for our children's ability to live on this planet. That is what the, this amendment is about. You know, I've sat here for much of today and listened to many of my colleagues, particularly those on the opposite uh, side of the aisle, introduce amendments and legislation that conveniently benefit the fossil fuel industry while fear-mongering about things like the Green New Deal and positive climate action, to which I say, boo. Last year, four of the major oil companies, Shell, Chevron, BP, and ExxonMobil, posted record profits totaling $75 billion. Speaking of $75 billion, yesterday, it was announced that Chevron will spend $75 billion on buying back their own stock after reaping record quarterly profits, profits in 2022, driving up their own stock prices and padding CEO compensation. This reckless Wall Street profiteering at the public's expense. This is just one example of what we are talking about. AIC is sitting here struggling that they should ban gas and stove. Hmm? It is actually funny how these people usually sit and take certain decisions. You know, they have been struggling to pass a bill that will prohibit people not to use this. I recently saw how social media reacted when this came up as a topic of discussion. It is totally insane. So you go into people's home, you know, to remove gas and stove because you want to feed your own narratives. We have talked about this issue of private jets. Why can't they follow this rule? 
That is a question I'm asking. Every single day, they are doing the contrary. The oil industry already has at least 10 years worth of unused leases at its disposal. They are only producing oil or gas on roughly half the area that is already leased. And there are nearly 14 million acres onshore and more than 9 million acres offshore that are currently under, under lease but are not being used for oil production. Why lease even more? This amendment would limit clean energy, American produced clean energy and increase emissions heavy foreign energy. American oil production is the cleanest in the world, where it's produced and where it's used. When we talk about education, we should all take it upon ourselves in this body to educate ourselves on the science of the challenge of climate change that is before us. By around 2050, we are looking at, at the Western states to be projected to further increase, uh, wildfires to further increase two to six times. And that is just scratching the surface. We don't even need to look towards the future to understand the cost of climate change. In 2021, the federal government estimates that 20 different natural disasters that year alone cost the nation an estimated $145 billion and killed no nearly 700 people. The only way to guarantee consumers reliable, affordable energy is for the United States to invest in renewable energy. It's also the only way to protect our country from increasingly devastating weather events and rising temperatures. I urge the adoption of the amendment and yield back. Now going back to Bimad Khalib, there was something I noticed under his comment section. People seem not to be happy after he made this statement, especially some of these work activists. And immediately, they are unsubscribing. I was so sure you were going to end that monologue by announcing you were giving up flying private jet. This long-term fan is heartbroken and so disappointed. You had an incredible opportunity to influence all those hypocrites and you blew it. Damn, Bill. And immediately, the fan unsubscribed. Simply because she wanted me to say, I will no longer do this. Yes, according to this article from Daily Wire, B. Mahal calls out environmentally celebrities, politicians, for flying private jets amid he does too. I can't take being a hypocrite. You have all seen, like what happened in Davos, they all take private jet. At the end of the day, they will tell you not to do it. Hypocrite 